Ciao Jorge. Ciao Costanza. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we, we see each other to talk about Epsilon today. Uh, last time we were together in, uh, here in, uh, in, uh, in Pedrali factory, but this time we will, uh, we will take profit of the Epsilon uh, uh, wall to, to, to use it and to, to experiment it. So it's an interview using your wall as a, as a, as a, as a perfect tool to, uh, to yeah, express it. it. It's interesting to mention that last time we were there, we were talking about the 10 years of Epsilon, and Epsilon at that time was a cafeteria table. Yeah, only. yeah. And I, I was talking to Constance some moments ago that we always are offered by Pedrali to introduce ourselves and them in other areas. The first piece that we designed for them that was not a common piece was the plural system. And then we went with the Epsilon tilting table and then talking to, to Giuseppe on, in Chicago uh, a year ago, 2019, yeah. we decided together to explore this possibility of having flexible walls with accessories. Yeah. So we are content because we always wanted that our design can be timeless. Absolutely, but it, this is very interesting. I was I was discussing the same things a few minutes ago with Monica, uh, because I was uh, asking her, "Tell me about your relationship with the the, the York, uh, and his work." And uh, everything started with the outdoor table, a aluminium outdoor table, no? An outdoor table, aluminium stacking outdoor three legged table. Yeah, three oh. legs, amazing, beautiful, amazing, yeah. beautiful. I think uh, the interesting thing is that we began to design objects and uh, we went from the object, the singular object, to spaces. Yeah. Uh, now, with this collection of uh, Ypsilon uh, and also Thames, the, the chair, yeah. and don't collect, uh, so we can uh, format, uh, create a space. Yeah, absolutely. Thames. Thames is a good example of this uh, going to different areas because it was the first office chairs they had. I mean, we... Well, and you, you can see it. Uh, I'm, I'm using it now. You can see it. Uh, <laughs> can see one of ours in the... Yeah. Uh, in the yeah, yeah, up in there, up there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm testing. I'm te it's very comfortable, I must say. <laughs> So uh, our collaboration with Pedrali has been always very, I would say, very professional, very emotive, I would say also, and full of, of success. I mean, because we don't consider that success is only a lot of sales. We are absolutely proud of our plural system bench, although it is not a bestseller, but we Every time we look at it, we feel good. And that's the only important thing for us as designers, not to feel that you have, haven't done the best you could. Yeah, absolutely. And then when you say popular means that, uh, and timeless means popular, means that uh, it resists to fashion, it resists to, to consumption. In a way, it's yeah. fully sustainable, because if there is it to consumption, it's sustainable. And it's, uh, and it's also fitting in a very flexible way to every kind of environment. As, uh, as the Constance will say before, from object to space, and then I would say from space to environment, you know, because it's, uh, yeah. it's a large uh, system. No? Where, uh, and this is very interesting because uh, considering the Epsilon family, uh, you started with, alu with aluminum structure outdoor table, and then you move from the, the outdoor to indoor to the office, uh, and then, so this table, just to say, and the, the tilting one, and then you finally arrive to these moving uh, walls, which are also representing a kind of evolution of the work system, no? I mean, yeah. today we need more and more flexible space, and I imagine that this kind of uh, walls can also be in a, in a, in a house uh, for uh, the, the, the so-called smart working, no? I mean, it can be a way to define your private space within your domestic environment, you know, which is also a possibility. I had recently an interview in Architonic, 
and they were asking us if we have decided, designed these objects after the crisis, yeah. but no. We began to do this before, so we are not, we have not designed anything for this pandemic, you know. Yeah. It's, but, uh, but, but the thing in creating this, uh, this new world, this new space for Ypsilon, when we presented it, uh, it was just before uh, March of last year, of this year. It was year. December, December last yeah. year. December last year, uh, when we presented it, um, we called it like a new horizon for Ypsilon. Uh, and we wanted to create a very singular, uh, configurable acoustic panels, but uh, different uses and uh, these different uses we could change easily also that, uh, and that's not a complicated um, constructive assembly. Oh, yeah, absolutely it's very simple super simple yeah the fact, very simple. The fact simple Luca is, is this to work with Pedrali is to discuss a lot with Giuseppe, you know that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Well, which is good our, to have. Our proposal, our proposal, maybe one day we can, you can take a look at it. It was much larger than it is. Well, but this know? is just the beginning, this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, we have designed a lot of things with mirrors and trees, you know, uh, and plants, I mean and everything was completely poetic. And at the beginning, we just making this, but I hope that we can go on as it happened with Ypsilon, that it began with a simple three-leg chair uh, table, and then we have a, fa a complete family of pieces, yeah. It's, it's, interesting. it's interesting because it's, uh, uh, it was, the conception was for office, but uh, from the beginning on, we wanted also like wardrobes, uh, little pieces, uh, uh, warm pieces, and um, it doesn't matter if it's uh, the, 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 the exact uh, look at the end. Uh, it's uh, like cool office or warm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I will say one interesting thing to mention is that I would say that in our first presentation, there were some dark scenes there. We didn't know exactly how to assemble. And when they showed us, <laughs> assemble this, we were surprised. And this is the good communication between partner and designer. You know? Absolutely. We Absolutely. A bit communication. And we, we are flexible if the, the proposal they are coming to us are logical. Yeah. And so, we are flexible to say, okay, let's do this way, yeah? But I, I think, yeah. Those, those elements that give us as a, such a strong degree of personalization and variability, uh, let's say that the structure is very simple because it's an aluminum structure, and then you I can... Very interesting to mention, Luca, is that the profile we are using in this yeah. are the first extruded profile that we made for the three-leg table. You see, it's the same DNA. Yeah. We saw this and we said, we are going to make a, a, a simple thing with this that has a, a sense of, of identity very interesting, you know, and we are content with this. I, I think it's fantastic because it's a kind of a, the same DNA which is generating variation that you, at the beginning, you was not imagining. If you imagine that you move from horizontal to vertical, which is funny, uh, and, uh, and, and this generated the whole space, no? And then uh, you, yep. can, you can move it now, because I, I, I don't think you can see it perfectly, but I mean, if I move it, uh, uh, you, you can you can hear you have these uh, elements uh, and this is the the the, the 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 way to write up and uh, then I, I don't I, I'm not gonna write anything and then you have those uh, uh, elements to to handle and then uh, uh, I, I want to it's it's a, it's a game here but uh, you see you have all the elements yeah. around so it's a, it's a incredible how in few meters you can manage such a different kind of environment uh, which generate uh, uh, different kind of families. 
it's very interesting what you are mentioning and what you are showing, because we always said that every partner or client has its own identity. Absolutely. Maybe client could have said to us, no, we cannot make these hangers because people that can steal it. You know? Oh, well, you know, they are so nice. This is, good. this is a good idea. They are so nice, I would say, that uh, the detail is fantastic. I would say I would steal one, but Giuseppe is behind me, so now it's impossible. <laughs> but I can feel for the next time. It's, uh, I, I love it. But I love the fact that uh, w I love the fact that one element generates everything. It's amazing. In, ten, in more than 10 years, no? So it was so strong, the idea, that is. I would say that all the, the, all the easy assembling that we have here is thanks to them. Yeah. I mean, we have to thank them a lot because this would help a lot for sales, you know. Yeah. If people can change the configuration at home, well, at home I don't think, but in any place it would be very good. Well, but also at home I would say because, you know, what we live in the last eight months that are teaching us that uh, part of our time will be also at home. And uh, you cannot only use your table in the kitchen, come on. Uh, there will be time when uh, people working in some corporation offices will need to have a, some a kind of a specific space in the house where to work. And this kind of yeah. element can, can allow a kind of definition of the space. No? Maybe, okay. Maybe okay, you can have a table in the kitchen and you put the panel to divide from the yeah. in the kitchen having the Kellogg's, I don't know. You know I'm convinced. You, 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 yeah. ju you just started, you know, so the next, the next generation of object on the wall can be something between domestic and office. Uh, you never know. Yeah. It's a kind of variation on the same theme, no? The fact that you can choose colors, uh, you can choose material uh, that is easily acoustic, defensive, uh, is sanification. I mean, you have all the elements to be so fully flexible that uh, today we, we not, must not be rigid in definition of the space. Space of working is everywhere. And this yeah. can help to play variation on our idea of the working space for the next uh, time. What is interesting to mention is that when we launched the Thames chair, at that time, at the same fair, we said we should do a low back because it can be used at home. That's true. That yeah. is before the crisis, I would say. Yeah. And I think you're absolutely right uh, with. Uh, with your, how you mentioned it, there's these open spaces, uh, uh, domestic open spaces, office open and contract open spaces. Um, we had this tendency in the last years uh, for, for having a better communication, uh, fluent life, uh, mixture, uh, which is inspirating for our life and our evolution and so now we need uh, like private capsules absolutely like, absolutely uh, uh, small spaces uh, we can separate and we can um, we can also uh, form uh, neutral um, walls for uh, in order to communicate in order to design, in, organ, uh, in order to organize, uh, in orga, order to present yeah. uh, and also, so uh, it was very important in this in these uh, panels um, that we can put a TV there. Oh yeah, uh, like, like we have now, <laughs> so, and it's working very well, I must say, because. Imagine a kind of this uh, material in uh, your house, uh, you must be very smart and uh, easy working, but this can be very useful instead of uh, just uh, being hypnotized by your computer, no? You have something bigger and so you are living better. If also the quality yeah. of your life is improving, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, what, like and what about yeah. Temps? The Temps is the, the fourth family you did with Pedrali because uh, uh, you started with Epsilon, then Ara, then Plural, and then Temps, no? And uh, the first one was, a, 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 let's say, an executive chair. And this is more, let's say, form, informal uh, way of uh, sitting. No? Maybe if, uh, for a conference room or maybe for a, a homework also, because it's comfortable. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah, I must say it's really comfortable because you move and it balances. Uh, I'm not so yeah. weight, so it's helping me to, to sit perfectly. I, I think it's very interesting we could discuss about the, how do you feel the, the working space is changing? Because I mean, you are, yeah, it's very interesting what you said before, Constance, saying object define the space, no? And uh, we know that objects are more and more universal and flexible, so are defining more and more flexible in a life which is uh, changing continuously. No? So we need good objects to feel better, let's say, and to live better. So how do you feel uh, we will uh, be working the next years? And one important thing, Luca, is that sometimes when people, when clients ask us to take... Uh, to, to say something about anything we have designed, we always say the same. We want that our object integrates in a space without crying, you know, without sure. any any shout. I mean, we as an architect, I like that our objects are tools for architects for completing their spaces. And so, we always thought about objects that can live with other objects in a different space. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, and how do you feel uh, it will be interesting and, and a challenge for you as a designer to work uh, considering the working spaces? I mean, uh, because uh, uh, working spaces is changing so much and probably uh, industry is, is coming to you to ask uh, new vision, uh, new solutions. Uh, so, and uh, we know that one of the elements is uh, uh, sustainability, but a good piece of design, if it's, if it's well done, is uh, fully sustainable. So for me, it's not that matter. Uh, so how do you feel as a designer, which will be important for you to work on the next chapters? Uh, maybe it's a, a, question, a, a question very personal, but I would say the best ideas appear in our in our life when the partner is a person who communicates well with us and we feel a good chemistry. Sure. If we don't have the client, we are thinking of other things, you know. Absolutely. But as, as soon as you come and sit here or we go to you and sit together and begin to talk about things, the idea appear. And so it's an incredible challenge to do new things always, you know that. When you see all these lounge pieces with the walls, there are so many on the market, there are no differences. You're right, you're right. I'm terrified that someone comes to us and asks for this, because what we can do different <laughs> to this, you know? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a real challenge, I agree with you. And Epsilon shows that 10 years uh, Ch continuous challenging is amazing, no? Therese is, is, ten uh, years is a big family, is a big family of objects. Uh, the, I would say that the, the love that Giuseppe has to Ypsilon maybe was what he made him think we could make panels with this beautiful vase, you know? Maybe he thought about that, not we. We should ask him, we should ask him, we should ask him. We, we begin to, to talk about it in Chicago, or in that. Milan, uh, uh, yeah, to all, in, to extend, yeah. also in 2019. Okay, uh, began to to talk about uh, extend extending the office program, but yeah. we didn't know what. In okay. general, ah, so in general, I was not just make a moving wall. No. Okay, when we went to Chicago and we meet them, Viola and, and and everybody, they are fantastic people always. He told us, yeah. and if we make something with this leg, <laughs> that's a and thing. It's some, sometimes it's funny, and so I think it's uh, putting together the, um, a double challenge. One challenge is the relationship with a with a company, uh, and with Petralin, especially uh, one of our really favorite companies, and uh, we 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 love working together with, with all of them. I think it's, because, the same, it's the same feeling here. It's the same feeling here. Yeah, this is one, one thing uh, to, to extend programs and to create spaces as we, as we talked before together yeah. with, with the company. Yeah. And the 
other thing is more theoretical, uh, which uh, could be uh, when you think about um, evolution of spaces and what we can do as designers uh, in this world, actually, and uh, and always we think the the same things. No, that you uh, sometimes you go back in some objects sure. and, and some concepts of spaces, but life is never as the history. Absolutely, absolutely. Again, again and again, and so it's always changing. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. introduce uh, old concepts in our new spaces, but life is different. Yeah, it's and like a genera it's a continuous process of generation and regeneration. Yeah. It's a metamorph, it's a metamorph. And I, I, I am sometimes very astonished when we take a look, especially with <laughs> Constance, to all the things we have done in the last years not produced. Some of them are absolutely innovating now. Sure. Produce. Never produced <laughs> because we no because we didn't have the right partner for that. I you agree know? with you. I agree with you. You know that Leon Battista Alberti was saying a good architecture needs a father and a mother. So a client and the architect they are both very important. If you miss I, I, one, it's just a, a self thought. So you speak on the mirror, it doesn't work. Yeah, no, the fact not your dreamer. Yeah. Yeah. The the real good thing with Pedrali is that there is a poetic mixture between professionality and warmth. They are very warm and they loved us and we love them. And but perfect. at the same time, they are so professional and yeah. so east and, and, and it's wonderful. I would say they are very Italian <laughs> from this point of view. Sorry. <laughs> Not because the other are worse or better, because uh, uh, Italian design is a mix of uh, uh, high sentiment feeling and a high uh, craftsmanship and technicality, obsession, good obsession for and simple details. Don't, and don't forget, look at that, all my ancestors are Italian. I know, so I, know I, I know, I know. But may I ask you a very personal question because I was very curious and didn't, and didn't find any, so, any answer to that. Uh, reading your biography, which is amazing, I mean, you know, a lot of Argentinians came from a good design. I was, my old teacher was uh, Tomas Maldonado, so you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, Tomas was a good friend of mine. And uh, I read that in 1975, you organized a group called Grupo Berenguer with a designer and two theoreticians. But I didn't find any other news about that. What have you done with Grupo Berenguer? It were a group, a group of friends okay. for, that we joined every week to talk about things. Okay. That, that's Grupo Berenguer. Okay. And then it was Berenguer because our address was was Kaya Berenguer. Ah, yeah. vale. Fantastico, yeah. fantastico. Nothing, nothing important, nothing... Well, uh, good thinking, good thinking, good talking generate always great idea. You need it, no? I mean, uh, don't, nothing that must be always so pragmatic. You need to generate uh, good thinking to open up to visions, no? And then visions became product, the nice, space. Nice time. We met and we talked. Fantastico, perfecto, perfecto. So thank you so so much, uh, and I uh, well, hope next time we we'll be together in Barcelona or here. We should come. Yeah, Look. I love it. You know, I told you I, I I lived two years in Barcelona, so I mean it's my second home. You stay in Villa Olimpica, ora, no? Look at uh, uh, at our stairway. It's so nice. You come here and go out to the garden. Ah, I love it. So next time in Barcelona to your office. I promise. Yeah. I promise. Yeah.